Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this Git tutorial, let's quickly understand how you can install Git on Windows machine. All right. So the first thing you have to do is just we'll go to Google and then search for Git download. All right. And go to this particular downloads Git link. And because we are installing on Windows, depending on the platform you are installing, you need to go to that particular platform and install. If you go to Windows, it will start the download automatically, right? So it's installing the 64 bit exe and if your windows is 32 bit then you install 32 bit git respectively all right so how you can find whether your pc is 34 bit or 64 bit just search for pc right click and go to properties go to my computer and properties if it is not windows 10 you'll see that it is a 64 bit operating system and that's why i have installed or i have downloaded this 64 bit exe all right so after downloading let's go to the downloads folder and then simply double click on this exe file all right click on yes and you'll see the license and key thing to remember here is just uncheck this only show new options checkbox just uncheck it because otherwise it won't show you the key options that we are going to select during the installation so once you uncheck this click on next then here if you want the additional icon on the desktop you can select that so it will show you the git icon on the desktop as well click next here you will have this editor basically how you want to edit so vim is the default editor text editor you can select notepad plus plus or sublime text which Whichever you are comfortable with I'll leave it as default click on next here leave it as default let git decide what will be the default branch name currently it is master so we'll just we are okay with master all right click on next here this is very important here so if you choose the first option use git from git bash only so git ba git will be available only from the git bash but the recommended one is git from the command line and also from the third party software so this is recommended it adds the path and the advantage of this option is that you will be able to use the git commands from your command line so make sure you select the recommended one okay click next leave it default use the open ssl library click next and then this is also very important here so the first option that is selected says check out window style commit unix style line endings right what we need is we need to say so for example i usually work on different operating systems so mac windows i keep switching so if you want to switch or if you are switching on different computers or different operating systems then select the option check out as is and then commit unix unix style line endings right so this is the preferred option if you are basically working in the working on different platforms okay so i'll keep that the second option here and click on next leave it as default click next leave it as default as well and then finally this is the new uh, git credential manager core i'll just leave it as default and then click on next leave this default as well and i won't choose any of the experimental because these are deselected so these are new but experimental so no need to choose those and once you are on this particular screen click on install installation will begin and installation should finish pretty quickly so the only thing to remember is basically the settings and the options you are choosing before installing so that you do not face any you know challenges after installing it post installation it will start doing some setups and once the setup is done you will see completing the git setup wizard you can check this post box to launch the git bash and it will launch git bash and to view the release notes you can keep it checked but i'll uncheck that and then click on finish so that it launches the git bash so that we can check the git installation has been successful so once the git bash has been launched right so you'll see let me expand it a little bit so now to see the version we'll simply say git version and you'll see git version has been displayed so that means git has been installed successfully on my machine all right now from the command line right so for example i want to also check the version from the command line simply say git version from the command line and because we have chosen that option to add the path of the git or enable git in other terminals as well so that is why git version is working 
on the command line as well so now either i can use the git bash or simple command prompt on my windows machine and we'll be able to use git tool exactly or absolutely fine with any of the terminals that we have on my machine okay so mostly i use you know command line most of the time so this is pretty handy and i do not have to struggle basically to go back to git bash and run all the git commands from the git bash okay so this is a brief about how you can go ahead and quickly install git on your windows machine i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching